Seeker wasn't lying about the burned down bridge. Which way? North by the mountains or south through the lowlands? Let's pick one and see where it takes us. Someone's left us a fire camp to use. For years, Kate Newsmith believed she did not measure up to her sister. Now she knows that in her kindness, she is at least her sister's equal. Thick skin has paid for her sins. But what of her sister? What will Kate do now? Her people look to her for their future. Their protection. Their survival. I didn't expect you back. I'm working my way back to New Eden Town. There, you're on your own. Do you wish to talk about what happened with the beast? You killed my sister. I have nothing more to say to you. Thickskin did what she did, and you were as horrified as I was. I laid the blame where it belonged. You executed her. Yes, I did. I know it seemed cruel. I contend that it was necessary. Or seemed so at the time. Sometimes, Banisher. I wonder if we did not exchange one monster for another. I I'm sorry to bring this up, but your sister owed me money. So? I did my part. As the new leader of the camp, the debt falls on you. Let me be sure I understand. You killed my sister, and now you're asking me for payment. Well, the beast is dead, and I don't work for free. You've a neck of brass and a bastard's heart. I hope your mother's very proud of you. Listen, you don't pay a banisher to get what you want, but to do what must be done, and the beast is dead. Pay me. You may take your blood money for bad work well done and shove it in your choice of hall. What's new around here? 
I have no time for gossip. Now that you're in charge, what's the plan? We finish what we started. We find the strength to leave New Eden forever. But not yet. They still have too much fear in their hearts, and not enough hope. The region is still dangerous. They may never find the courage they need to leave it. How fear the people round here? We're not out of the woods yet. You'll excuse the pun. The settlement seems to be doing well with you in charge. We've made some gains, but we're far from ready to leave. Did you tell them what Thick Skin did? I told them she died hunting the beast. Some are yet in their sullens, but they're better with sleep now the nightmares have stopped. Perhaps them not knowing is for the best. If we are to keep our chins up and leave for good, Better they stay in the dark. Still, some troubles yet vex. The bodies of the lost are buried, many without names, but we found tracks. They lead away into the woods. Some may have escaped. I need to know for sure. If they're alive, you mean? Yes, and if they're dead, that they won't be coming back. We need no more beasts. A new scourge is always possible but very unlikely without the Nightmare's influence. Probably best to confirm, eh? Thank you. I followed the tracks as far as I could from the killing ground. I left a red flag as a marker. From there, I ventured no further. Goodbye to you for now, Kate. Oh, damn this to hell. Strange. Spectral stains still envelop the house. Let's investigate. There are still writings on the wall. New ones from Thomas Haig. Or what's left of him. more of them. Poor Thomas. I should have known his spectre would linger. Well, it's gone now. Hmm. 
My name were Rose, a flower. I became the pitiless thorn. But I did not make the world. It made me. Beneath the tyranny of men, I lived and died. Tous en rôle, mais le tien, Panisar, est de loin le plus perfide. Now this place looks like the drawings on the map. The treasure must be hidden nearby. Monster! Oof! How's Bowles, lady? Oh, Mr. McGrath! <laughs> you are a monster. Thank God! I mean, I'm so sorry. Oh, Lord. You never did like me, Mistress Fitcher. Please don't be childish. That's not true. I doubted you. It's not the same thing. But you slayed the beast. God was with you, and I was wrong to doubt. <sighs> well. I have thoroughly embarrassed myself. Forgive me, if you can. Your ghost stories went to my head. I uh, was gathering plants in the woods. I thought I was attacked by a ghost. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? She is haunted, clear as day. No, it's not ridiculous, no. If you're haunted, I might be able to help you. I'm not haunted. I just took fright is all. But if you really want to help, when I ran, I dropped my bag. It has my medical equipment and supplies. Could you get it for me? Medical supplies are valuable. It's a shame to lose them. I'll see what I can do. May God's goodness go with you, if you're serious. I still can't tell if you're a serious man. You are such a good man. Banisher, rebel, finder of lost baggage. And Beetlehead. You forgot Beetlehead. Here in the crevice, Evelyn Fitcher's lost bag. How did she manage to drop it down there?
you bastard! You'll have to hit harder than that. Our doctor may not believe in ghosts, but this journal was torn by a spectral hand. Have another in sight. in there is intact. The ghost was after Evelyn, not her bag. Spectral stains lead back to camp. Mistress Fitcher was something of a physician back in Yorkshire. I wonder why she left. She'd stopped seeing patients. Maybe she was bored. I bet she'd take boredom now. Beats a curse, eh? a map. Do you wish to sail the seas, or perhaps to know which way is Boston? Or do you wish to travel west and claim more land that is not yours? I just want to walk in the woods without getting lost. I will teach you to draw your map. So, mark the camp as your starting point. Trace the path along it. Note each landmark. By journey's end, you have a map. But beware, you must know where is north. When you're back from your walk in the woods. You're back. Why, Mr. Switcher, whatever is the matter? Uh, I was home, working. All of a sudden, the book in my hands was torn apart. What does the devil want with me? Not the devil, but a ghost. You must know it now. Till lately, I would never have believed such nonsense. This never would have happened in Yorkshire.
Let us talk of something else. The world about us, for example. I get the feeling you're about to try and sell me some nonsense or other, but all right, we can talk. What can you tell me about Thick Skin Newsmith? Thick Skin Newsmith was, without a doubt, my most regular patient. I put more stitches in her than a dressmaker. She had to be hectored into sitting still while I treated her. Head like a rock. I liked her a lot. May she rest in peace. She did her job to the end. Kate Newsmith. Quite the character, eh? Yes. Without wishing to be cruel, her sister's death revealed her true character. But she'll be a good leader. With time. God helps those who help themselves. I've passed through Yorkshire. Seems nice enough. Why leave? Why does it matter? To understand why someone is haunted that helps to know a little about them. Fine. I came to treat the sick and chase the devil from New Eden Town. My cousin, Nicholas Doolin, may the Lord keep him, said the town needed doctoring. I took my chance. But when the devil came a knocking, well, we were forced to leave. For a rationalist, her faith in God and the devil is strong. Thick skin ask you to join her group. Nicholas spoke to her for me. She knew my worth. It was difficult to leave New Eden Town. But I'd left one home behind. What did it matter if I must leave another? Did you leave family behind in England? I left my sister there, yes. Things between us had soured. Rather than try to fix the unfixable, I chose to start over. Unfixable? Why? She was to wed, and I opposed it. It was the mistake of her life. I would not lie to comfort her, and she would not forgive me for it. That's good to know. Though I don't yet understand how it relates to your haunting. Mind if I look around? I'm aware this is your home. I have no wish to trespass. If you must, you may. Do tread carefully, hmm? I should go. The Lord will guide you, Banisher. If you let him. Whatever the ghost wanted, it made quite the mess. Someone has an axe to grind. You must break the engagement. First, I'll thank you for your concern. Second, I shall refuse. Felicity and I shall marry. You have the pox. You'll infect your wife and both of you will die. So cease your nagging and do your job. Cure me. Quite the contentious consultation. The patient in question must be our ghost. He had syphilis and didn't take it serious. Not a pretty way to die. This ghost is bent on ruining the doctor's business. Maybe they didn't like their medicine. Someone threw a book through the window. Our ghost's modus operandi, it seems. This could be useful. We're done here. Time to take a look outside. The dose makes the poison. The answer is here somewhere. Sister. The ghost is connected to this picture. Time to summon him.
He can fool this. Why am I here? Oh, that was a clever trick. Now you see me, you lucky things. Can you hear me too? Aye, we can hear you. We've not met. I've seen your likeness. In the picture, you seemed in better shape. Well, now that's not very polite. Who are you, anyway? I'm Antea Duarte. This is Red McGrath. Geoffrey Rollins, me. Pretty as a picture. Near as pretty as you, my lady fair. We're banishers. Looks are not high on our list of priorities. Banishers, are you? How very attractive. I wager you smell good. I wager you smell dangerous. I like you. Why do you stay to haunt Evelyn Fitcher? Because, my lady fair, she let me die. But she was your doctor. A physician, she. Her physics didn't save me. A doctor, she. She doctored me and good. You think she didn't try hard enough? I stand before you, my lady fair, as proof of it. You have a very high opinion of yourself. I've earned it, my lady fair. I'm charming, educated, handsome, kind, attentive to your every need. Ask anyone. Like who? Why, like Eleanor Jane, or Madame Cresswell, Penny Ryder, or Penny Top, French Jenny, Greek Nell, Tall Sally, oh, well, perhaps not Sally. I owe her money. Geoffrey is clever, they will all say. Geoffrey is kind. Geoffrey is so very, very handsome. And who am I to argue with such knowledgeable women? What if I don't agree? Red's right. You don't look great. You look unwell. <sighs> alas, 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 alas. Now who will tell me the truth about myself? <laughs> Where is French Jenny when I need her? I may not be as handsome as your Scotsman, but I have my strengths. Why can't you be pleasant, my lady fair? Why not tell a man what he wants to hear? The portrait. It's very good. Whose work is it? It was a wedding gift from Evelyn, my sister-in-law. A mark of her affection, perhaps. Was she dear to you, too? Evelyn? Dear to me? <laughs> no. Her sister Felicity, yes, very dear. Dear, dear Felicity. Dear Felicity. My wife-to-be had fate allowed it. Yes, I was intent on marrying Felicity, and would not be deterred by some midwife's trifle. Mistress Fitcher knew you had syphilis. Is it any wonder she would oppose your marriage to her sister? She was the doctor, my lady fair. All she had to do was cure me. What can you tell me about your illness? Don't worry your pretty head about that, my lady fair. It is nothing, nothing at all. If the pox was nothing, then what killed you? Why, it was love. I had fevers. Sunlight would hurt my head. I had tunnel vision, my lady fair. And I did not like it. Then one day, I could no longer speak. My legs refused to work. My muscles rebelled against me. And in the end, so did my mind. At the last, there was a pain. Like someone reached into my chest and crushed my heart. I did not like that either. No, I'm no expert, but that doesn't sound like the great pox to me. The pox was nothing, old man. Nothing at all. 
I was a fool in love. When your symptoms worsened, did Evelyn change your treatment? No. She upped the dose. With what did she treat your lesions? Salts and powders, powders and salts. And did they work? No, they did not. Too much sulfur rots the brain, and Joffrey says he lost his mind. No, the other symptoms don't fit. Powdered quicksilver, perhaps. Too much affects the muscles and makes one's heart rot till death occurs. That's it. Powdered quicksilver, mercury salts, and Mistress Fitcher increased the dose. Poisoning, perhaps? Wait, what? A poisoning indeed, and not by carelessness. She is not a careless woman. Are you telling me that Evelyn Fitcher, Mistress Fitcher, the midwife, my sister-in-law to be, poisoned me? I'm gonna kill her. Geoffrey Rawlings was obnoxious before. Now he's downright nasty. Aye, Mistress Fitcher's in danger. Do you think she killed him? Yes, I do. She did it to save her sister from syphilis. I understand that. Howling in the fog. Jacob and Benedict's Valley. Maybe. Jacob can't come back, can he? No. But if it makes you feel better, we can go and check. What would you have done to save your sister from the pox? I might have told her the truth and trusted her to call off the wedding. Not sure she'd have listened, mind you. Joffrey Rawlings, stand away. Mind your own business, my lady fair. That corpse is going to shoot. Kills on one hand. It's over. They're gone. By God Almighty, what on earth were they? I know who haunts you. Your ghost is the spirit of one Joffrey Rawlings. Oh Lord, I thought I knew the voice. I thought I glimpsed his face. He was your patient. Syphilis, I believe. Yes, but this was years ago. 
You didn't like him. Did you let him die? Do I look careless to you, sir? Yes. I stole a few months of Geoffrey Rowling's life to save decades of my sisters. You acted from love for your sister. But the choice was hers, not yours. What would you have done? Knowing you could save a loved one's life, what would you have done? The good lady doctor has a point. Let's get to the bottom of this. You've both made your choices. Now it's my turn. Evelyn Fitcher, who swore to do no harm. Geoffrey Rawlings placed his trust in you. You poisoned him. Rawlings was sick, body and soul, and would have passed his illness on. What was I to do? You went against your sister's wishes, against your own principles. Twas a life for a life, a trade, the balance equal. A life for a life. I understand. I'm about to make the same trade. Both of us, death was a remedy. But who shall judge you, banisher, when judgment time has come? These are Jacob and Ben's trapping grounds, but I sense no stains. We keep looking. The fog is back, but it can't be Ben Stone's doing. Nor Jacob Lim's. So, something else. Let's find the source. The descent is too steep for the bridge. Across the bridge, the path is easier there.
finding this stuff. Would you mind? Of course not.
the marker Kate mentioned. Let's find these missing settlers then. I mean, obviously they're dead. But let's find them anyway. Oh, they do look annoyed. Die, you bastard! These body parts scream manifest my spectre. Present yourself! Back up! Try another one. It's on you! Fucking all the fun. The earth is freshly turned. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Healing herbs. They don't seem to have worked. This guy died defending two other settlers. They went southeast, hoping to reach the sea. Then we'll do the same. 